day, everyone. I'm Olivia Kwa from Class 2B. I'm honored to be here today. In the same manner, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for being here today and joining me. Today, I'm going to share with you a story about a heron and the crab. A heron lived near a pot. There are plenty of fishes in the pot. The heron catches the fish for food. As the herons grow older, he is not as strong as before. He wants to find an easier way to catch the fishes. So, the heron pretends that he does not want to catch any more fishes. The fishes in the pond are very healthy. A crab which lives in the pond is amazed by this. He asks, And the heron, why are you eating as usual? A few days ago, three fishermen passed by the pond, says the heron. They will return to catch all the fishes in the pond. That makes me extremely unhappy. The fishes became very frightened when they passed the heron's word. Not far from here, there is a big pond. If we're all of there, I'm sure all of you will be safe. <laughs> How can we get there? Asked the fishes. I will be able to pick each one of you on my beak, answers the heron. So the heron picks off his on his beak and flies off. After a while, he flies down to a flat rock. He ate the fish before flying back to get the other fishes. The crab wants to go to the new pot. The heron thinks, It would be nice to have a different kind of food. Let me hunt until you make me my claws like a heron, says the crab. Because my shiny tongue is smooth, the heron agrees. The heron fly up into the sky with the crab. The heron flies down to a flat rock. The crab sees the fish fall lying on the rock. The crab knows that the heron has tricked that, so he uses his strong claw to cut the heron's neck. Then the heron dies. The crab then slowly returns back to the old pot. He tells the other fishes about the nasty heron. Now we can all live together in peace, says the crab to the fishes. The end. The moral of the story tells us to be careful of someone who may pretend to be helpful and good to you. With this, I hope you enjoy my little story. Thank you for your time and attention.